guys welcome back to my channel today we're having a little bit of a mixture of foods i stopped by taco bell slash kfc which is like one store in my area so what i have for you today is the kfc kentucky fried chicken secret recipe fries which are so good i miss the potato wedges but these are like super good I got the Colonel Sanders crispy chicken sandwich. I got KFC coleslaw because I was craving it. And then because Taco Bell is a part of the situation, I wanted a bean burrito with sour cream. And I also have extra sour cream if I feel the need. Barbecue sauce and of course water to drink. I always say of course because water is my staple if I have anything else it's like a random and that's it you guys I am super starved um, I was actually supposed to be starting my keto journey dieting journey for all of October today but you guys I messed up I did not meal prep I put myself in a pickle I worked another 12 hour shift so I didn't have anything prepared so today we're eating out and tomorrow we're starting my diet so that I can be snatched for my birthday also, it's October 1st. As soon as October 1st hits, it's literally like my whole demeanor changes and it's like fall spooky season. I feel so good. It's my favorite time of year other than Christmas, other than summer. I mean, I love them all. But like they, this has a special place in my heart because it is my birthday season. Anyways, I digress. I want to try this chicken sandwich. Look at this. I think it just has chicken and then there's pickles and mayonnaise. I'm ready. It's actually really good but you guys know how I feel about pickles and for some reason pickles on sandwiches is such a weird texture to me mm -mm. just like McDonald's I always ask for no pickles Let's take another bite but they do have a pretty good chicken sandwich at KFC. Again, I'm never getting like bone and chicken at KFC. Mmm. Yummy. Uh. So I think the fries at KFC have like sugar on them. Because mm. it says their secret recipe. I'm like, okay, your secret sugar. I'm not normally a dipper, but I have it. Mmm. And then I asked for coleslaw, and I asked for a medium, you guys, and that's not a medium. I don't even know what I got charged for. But I'm pretty sure this is just a small. Or like, you know what they give you like in the side meal? I'm off tomorrow, you guys. I'm so excited. I've been working so much lately, but the back half of the year for me is normally very busy. So be prepared for some like hectic days. There might be days when I'm not filming, but we'll make it work. And then you guys, I'm gonna start trying to do like a live. 
once a week. So it'll be one of my videos. So like, you know how I film Tuesdays, Thursdays, Friday, Tuesdays, Thursdays, Saturdays. One of those days will be a live video. Mm. I love Taco Bell burritos. It's just literally bean, cheese, and sour cream. Mm. I can't even see it. It's like smushed. I brought extra sour cream if I need it, but I actually put enough in here. How was your day today, you guys? Mm. You have to get it that way. That's so good. <gasps> okay, so not only is this month my birthday month, my favorite celebrity slash artist of all time came out with her memoir on the 29th and one of my best friends ever if you can guess look what she bought me for my birthday mm. oh my gosh you guys she knew I wanted it and not only did she get it for me super early because my birthday is not until Halloween she literally had it ordered and then shipped it to me the day that it launched. Ugh, I'm like, aww. But I'm not, you guys all know her channel. It's Riri's Mukbang. And thank you so much, Lori. This book means so much to me. You have no idea. I cannot wait to read it. This book has been a long time coming. Like, she's been talking about writing this book for years, you guys. So I'm so excited to read it. And um, came with, like, a super sweet note. But... I just wanted to say thank you, and I cannot wait to read this book. And then on top of that, you guys, today, October 2nd, wait, what's today, the 1st? Whatever. Mariah Carey launched a new album, which is her, B it's not like a, okay, so it's like a B-Sides album, but she's calling it like, so it's called The Rarities, and it's like an album of literally all the songs, not all of them, but like a handful of songs that she never released. I love stuff like that. And then the second half of the album is her at the Tokyo Dome during the Daydream album when she was at her peak. So this has been a really good start to October. Okay, I have something to tell you guys. I've been watching a lot of conspiracy theories lately, like on YouTube. Um, sometimes, no, like on um, YouTube, also on Netflix. I don't know how many of you have a HomePod from Apple, but it's kind of like a like. I guess like an Alexa. But I've never, like I don't talk on the phone on it. Like I did maybe once when I first got it. But I listen to music on it. I ask it questions, I ask it the weather. I set timers and alarms on it, but I never talk on the phone on it. So the other night, <clears throat> it 
And, like, on the top, like, it has, like, this, like, glowing kind of thing. Like, when it's active. Like, otherwise, it's just, like, plain black. But when it's, like, doing something or whatever, it's, like, thinking or talking to you, it's, like, glowing on the top. Well, I remember specifically the last time that I used it, I was listening to an album. I was listening to Celine Dion. I was, like, playing music. But last night when I went to bed, I remember looking at it and it was, like, glowing. I'm like, whatever, so I went to bed. It ends like this. I never finished. This is just too much bread. So I get up this morning. I go to work. Whatever. When I got home tonight, you guys. When I was like hanging out and getting ready for this video. I wanted to listen to music again. So I was like, hey Siri. I hate when people do that in their videos because then the pe like your phone goes off, but we'll just say S. Hey S, play Celine Dion live in Boston. That's what I've been listening to lately. And it goes, cannot perform this action while on call. I kept asking it and it kept saying that. So it was like saying that I was on a call. But it's funny because my phone always mirrors like what's going on on the thing. And I wasn't clearly on a call. But anyways, I feel like watching those conspiracy theories. Like what if like the government was like listening to me or had it like just on like call so that it was like listening i don't know i hope that made sense what i was saying if you don't have one maybe it sounds kind of confusing but what if someone was just like listening i mean obviously with me and i live alone they weren't really listening to anything isn't that so weird she was like, I can't perform this action while on call. I'm like, well, who's on call? Because I'm not on the phone with anyone. Mm. I had three white claws left in my refrigerator and I buckled down and drank them tonight. It was just a long day at work and I needed to. So this really is like the day before I'm going to start and really buckle down for the rest of this month. And it's not about restricting myself. It's just about I want to look good for my birthday. I'm going to go to Dallas. And I think I'm going to spend time with my eggs. <gasps> he was here last weekend and he didn't even tell me until last minute. I'm like, why didn't you tell me you were coming to Houston? Like, I'm not a very spontaneous person. So for me to be like, oh yeah, let's go. That's not in my character. Like I have to plan for things. Now, can I be spontaneous at times? Absolutely.
But I'm the type of person that wants to know where we're going, how much it's going to cost, who's going to be there, what are we doing after that. I can't just be like, yeah, let's do it. These are so great. And these reheat really well. Mmm. Oh my gosh, I'm getting so full, you guys. I want to finish this, though. <gasps> Go buy this book. Donald Trump and Melania Trump test positive for coronavirus. We will get through this together. Okay. I love stupid Apple alerts. A burrito ball. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm so funny. Oh my gosh, I'm so corny. Alright, you guys. I love you so much. Thank you so much for watching this video. <clears throat> Thank you so much for not minding that it's kind of late. But I got off work really late. I love you guys so much, and I will see you on Saturday. All right, talk to you soon. Bye.